we get set for Isaac Jordan and Alex Derringer in 165 pounds. Derringer has won two national titles at two different weight classes, 157 and 165. Isaac Jordan is unbeaten on the season at 29 on, and 0. A lot to expect in this one. 86 career wins for Jordan, 132 career wins for Alex Derringer. He wrestles his final Oklahoma State match, riding Center. the third longest win Center. streak in Oak State history. Stop, stop, 81 Alex. straight wins. That is the second longest streak in the country behind Gwizdowski. Alex Derringer wins this one. He'll be one of the top five Cowboys of all time. He has really been dominant for the past three years. Third as a freshman and two titles. Only the seventh Oklahoma move. State wrestler stop. with four Big 12 titles. And this, of course, is one of the great, arguably the greatest program in college wrestling. Really interesting right here if you see Zeke. Jordan right here, he actually had his left arm alongside because he does We're not, not want Der Derringer to come up on the um, hook on his uh, on his left side. Derringer likes to take his right arm, get to Jordan's left side, and then do a little uh, Kelly dump. Well, Jordan, or Derringer, he has a, quite a bit of offense on his feet. He's explosive, he's super powerful, so he wants to press that pace. He wants to get that offense going here. Jordan on the other side, he wants to keep it low scoring. He's got great technique, great, stays in great position. So just a contrast in styles here. One guy wants to blow it up with points. The other guy wants to keep it nice and close, low scoring. Derringer has 27 bonus point wins out of the 32 and 0 season that he's racked up so far this year. Isaac Jordan is coming off a win over his cousin Bo of Ohio State to get to this point. There's the takedown for Derringer to the other side. Right there, Derringer, he got that, that underhook position going for that throw by. It's a great offense there. That's what he wants to do is so keep, keep his, his foot down on that gas, but he'll keep attacking. That's going to force Jordan to open up more. And he's going to get those shot attempts out more because you see tonight, refs aren't afraid to call those star for him. If he can't get to the right side, he goes to the left, the throw by right here. Jordan had to give it up. He didn't want to go to his back. And this guy is a hammer. And he rides from the right side. Yep. And that really gives you a lot of difficulty. Puts Jordan back down to his belly. Isaac Jordan, you don't want to get hooked. And he got hooked just from the side he didn't think. And then Alex Action. Derringer, if you're... You know, vying to be one of the top five Oki State Cowboys of all time, just be you. Go out and do what you've been doing. Dare to be Alex. The green. Keeps the green. Jordan on the mat. He's so good at all positions. We said it. He's great at getting points. He's great at getting takedowns, and he's a hammer when he's on top. One. Perfect example right there, and he improves the position. Below the hips, gets back up above the hips, and bellies. Jordan back down to the mat. You see that quick spurt of Jordan trying to stand up to his feet, but Derringer just kept penetrating through, covered up those hips. And I like how he, he was down on the legs, but right away he climbed back up to those hips. Improve, right here he's on his toes guys. driving forward, attacking that wrist. That's Stop. what you want to see, Nobody's what you want to do. Stalemate. Keep attacking, keep moving Red forward. Green top. We've got to have more action, gentlemen. We John Smith has action. the second longest win streak in Oklahoma State history. He you won 90 wrestling. consecutive matches at hey, one sir, point. Set. The longest Stop. win streak in Oklahoma set. State history belongs to the great Pat Smith, one, who won 98 two, straight. Three. Stop, we're out. So two Red seconds now in this Careful first on period. Your top. You know, on. I talked about Get John Smith's gentle. coaching job this year. Another thing John Smith does really well is if, you rest, if he gets to wrestle you, he really adjusts. Set. That's what I thought was Zeke set. Jordan and them not wrestling each other would be an Go. advantage to Jordan because of the job John Smith does Go. 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 when he's able to see and, and wrestle. Green. Green bottom. On, to me, it's on or over. Go back. Go back, please. Jim Jordan watching. The two-time NCAA champion Bottom and still set, the winningest top. wrestler in Wisconsin history. 156 set. wins. Won his first NCAA title in 1985 One, at 134 pounds. Two, the same year three, that four. Isaac's coach, Barry Davis, won Stop. his last national championship. The third of his three national titles. There's Barry in the Wisconsin corner. Barry Davis, three-time NCAA champion in Bottom Iowa, set, long-time head coach. 20 years plus at Wisconsin, Set. 
one of the great guys in the sport. And you saw that Isaac Jordan did get warned Central. because he got Let's the count get. from staying below the hips. And actually, that's on uh, Derringer. He's so smart with Matt Savvy. He trapped the head down there and didn't let uh, uh, Jordan come up. So the warning for stalling because he could not come up above the hips. Wrist control by Derringer, so strong. Derringer's definitely got a lot of power. He's got those heavy hips. So if I'm Jordan right now, i got to start creating some more angles here. It's going to be tough to finish those direct shots in. It's a lot of power. So kind of circle around a little bit, create those angles. That way you don't have to deal with those heavy hips go. right on top of you. Let it go. You'll never be able to score against Derringer or somebody of his caliber just going straight forward. Just like you said, Anthony, you've got to be able to find the angles and lower your level and penetrate. Give Isaac credit. He's trying to find something, some spot where he can get to. Not trying to get in on a single. And a good sprawl by Derringer. He returns the favor and brings him down for two. Nice new attack there by Derringer. He looked like he went for that left side. Kind of throw by there. Drop down to the ankle. It's a great job of looking for that counter shot. Penetrating right through. It was a great move by Derringer right there. And he looking for that tilt. But... Well, he almost got into a difficult One spot escape. there, and they'll give Get Jordan the escape point. Nice hip height, and Jordan goes for a throw there. But now that's what Jordan, right now, he can't be worried about what Derringer's doing. He's got to create right here. They're both undefeated. Tremendous years by both Center. wrestlers. Isaac Jordan had been taken down two times all season. One of them was against Bo. Enough. My time in blood. his semifinal match yesterday, but only two times that he'd been taken down all year. He's been taken down twice in the first two periods by Alex Derringer, who's dealing with some blood time right now. Blood time is unlimited, so as they clean him up, they'll have him in the corner. You know, I, by the way, while we have Alex Derringer wrestling, we mentioned Pat Smith, 98 straight wins at one point, uh, longest streak in Oklahoma State history, and of course, one of four four-time national champions in the history of the sport. Pat Smith with a very impressive run. Derringer is trying to get to three national titles, and of course, it'd be at two different weight classes. 157 pounds in 2014 against Ness, moves up to 165 last year, and gets Taylor Walsh in impressive fashion. There that is a four-time champion this year in NCAA wrestling. Make sure That's in Division one two, and we want to give some love okay, to Notre Dame time. College's Joey Davis. The reason we bring him up, he and Alex Derringer one, wrestled against each two. other last year. Step Derringer got the win, no but he said a lot of good things about Joey Davis from Notre Dame College. So we mentioned Pat Smith, a four-time champion. Derringer's going for three. While we had a moment, wanted to give some love to D2's outstanding okay, star, sir, Joey Davis, who picked up his fourth National okay. Championship, Move. and much like Kale Sanderson, moving. he You're went completely unbeaten, 130 and 0 in Division Two. In Division Two, this uh, in his career, they met, wrestled in an open match last hey, May. Derringer said some really good things about Joey Davis. One. Out of bounds. Great Change. continued attack by Derringer there. And talking about Jordan, a lot like Rutherford in one sense, he's really changed. He's gotten a lot better, and he's gotten healthy. Seventh the last two years. But here he is on the big Bottom stage, set, and uh, he has not been healthy. He's had bad backs last year, and now he's healthy. Look what nope. he's done. I think he's a greatly time. improved wrestler. Little, little jump. Right now, little jump. Jordan's doing get a nice job. Top. He's exploding get off of that whistle. Top. Get on, he's get on almost easy. away, but just Jordan, or Derringer's set, doing a nice top. job just following those hips set. up. He's right there, he exploded right off the whistle, got to his feet, but Darren collapsed down to those legs, drove him through, right back down to the mat. And again, it's tough when you, you get ridden on the side that most don't ride you on, and Derringer makes a living over on the right side there, making it very uncomfortable for the man underneath. Jordan trying to scramble out in a matchup with two unbeaten wrestlers. I think it's kind of funny. I wonder what Wisconsin fans are thinking about right now, because where is Alex Derringer from? He's from Port Washington, Wisconsin. And he went to Stillwater to go wrestle for John Smith. He started wrestling as a second grader in the state of Wisconsin. He won two high school titles in Wisconsin. His parents, Stop. David and Cindy, Rolling moved top. from Wisconsin to Stillwater after Alex decided he you wanted to go wrestle one, for John Smith, and he's you been a dynamo. On. And a guy who knows a little bit about competing on the big stage, Jordan Oliver, the former 
Oak State Cowboy. Hey, sir, still set. Checking huh? in on Twitter. Says he can't wait to witness it happen if it does happen for him. And he's a minute seven away from doing just that, becoming just the 43rd ever three time national champion. Derringer just when Jordan steps up, Derringer get, brings his hips in and uh, picks up Jordan and brings him back down. Just doesn't let him get too far away. Hey, sir, stay still set. A lot of international experience for Derringer as well. He could certainly continue his career as he goes on and cuts Jordan loose. U.S. Junior World at 74 kilograms in 2013. He won silver there. Great fight to get out there by Jordan on that escape. He's a big, big dude, Derringer. It's been tough for Jordan throughout the entirety of this one. And Derringer just 15 seconds away from that third national championship. That's where Zeke Jordan's been good all year, and that's how good Derringer is. And uh, he's that close now to a second Cowboy champion. And again, John Smith, what a what a finish here and what a week for the Cowboys, especially after losing a couple of their stars to uh, season-ending injuries. Yeah, it's been an impressive coaching job. But John Smith in the 100th year of Cowboy wrestling, his 25th. At the helm of the program, and already is locked in. Two national titles, number three for Alex Derringer. Final match in his career, and Cindy and Dave have been there for all of it. They've moved from Port Washington, Wisconsin to Stillwater to be close to Alex during his wrestling career. They've been there for it all. And they've been there for three national titles for Alex Derringer. Let's go over to Quinn. Congratulations. Uh, you take the stage tonight with a lot of experience. Where did that come in handy? You know, I've been there twice before. You know, I felt, felt real good and confident before I came in here. So I was real excited about it. You know, to go out like this and, you know, and then Serena like this in a historic place, it's, it's pretty amazing. Two nice takedowns, but your ride was dominant. You, you racked up uh, 251 in riding time. What was critical uh, to being in, in that type of control? You know, I knew he had trouble with bottoms sometimes. You know, I've watched some of his footage before. So I was just gonna try to, you know, get that takedown, ride hard, get that extra point. You know that he had to work hard, and I, I, I got a, you know, a right nice reshot off his off his shot, which helped me get that big nice lead. When the match went final, you took a moment on the mat, and then you gave Coach John Smith a huge hug. What, what emotions were you dealing with? I mean, I did it, you know. You know, I've been I've been, I've been thinking all this my whole, you know, this whole year, this whole season, and for it to happen like this is just amazing. What does it mean to be known as one of the best in Oklahoma State history? I mean, amazing. Just think about all the history they have there, you know. They've had over 140 national champions. For me to be um, top five is pretty amazing. You are. Congratulations. Great job, Alex. Not much more to be said except history has been made. How about this? We were talking about it. It's going to be the third longest win streak in Oklahoma State history. 82 straight, 133 wins to four losses for Alex Derringer. What a career.